Now in a different video we talked about how you can make a level 2 mentor sponge. Now the sort of spiritually correct way is to take a bunch of level 1 mentor sponges and you'll get something like this. Now if you look closely you'll see it's a little bit blocky and there's lots of these stud anti studs showing up on the side. What we want to do is actually show you a slightly different construction to make a level 2 mentor sponge and the result will look something like this. It's a much smoother appearance and not only does it look smoother, it actually weighs less. So this is really your travel mentor sponge. So if you're taking a mentor sponge to go sh show someone, this is what you want to do. And it's a lot easier to build than you might think. All right, so what are you going to need? Well, the first thing you're going to need is 1,968 parts. And they're all the same part, our headlight part, or angular part number 4070 from Lego. And honestly, that's probably the most challenging thing that you're going to need. And the goal for us is we're going to figure out how do we go about building a corner. So we're going to build one individual corner. And then once we have a corner, we'll connect the eight corners together and we'll get our sponge. All right, well, let's get going. There are going to be two very important parts for us in our build. So let's review how we go about constructing these. The first one we'll call the L. And the L is formed by taking three of our parts and we're going to form them together and make them into this little piece here. You'll notice they have slightly different orientations and there is something to note. There's two different ways to build an L and you want to make sure you get the correct symmetry. And so lock in your symmetry ahead of time. The second important thing for us to build is a square. And this one is pretty straightforward. And so you just take two pieces and you push them together. Take two more pieces, push them together in a similar way. Push the two parts together and there we go. A nice square. We're going to break our corner up into a couple of basic parts and use those parts to put them together. Our first basic part is the external corner. And so this is the part we're going to build next. And if you look at it, you see how it fits into the whole structure. And it's a very nice, simple piece. It's a great one for us to get started with. So for the external corner, there's a total of 24 pieces. Seven of these L's, which makes a total of 21 of the pieces. And then we'll have three other pieces. Now with your three other pieces, what you're going to do is take them and you're going to form an L, but in the mere symmetry. Now that you have your L's, take one of each symmetry and put them together to form a little cube. At this point, we now have our corner. So next you can take any one of the remaining L's and you find a way to connect it in. So you want it to have a nice corner going here and you connect again. And we just keep going around and we're going to form ourselves a nice little corner. Now, I will say if you have any trouble getting your original part going, the corners are not symmetric. So if it's not connecting the way you want, turn it around and it'll probably work. And there you go, our corner piece ready to go. And we're going to need one of these corner pieces for each of our eight corners. So you're going to make this eight times in total. The next part that we're going to build is the internal corner. So this is this part right here in terms of our corner. So remember, we did the external corner, the internal corner is over here. And for this one, we're going to need a total of 33 pieces. Our 33 pieces will consist of 10 of our L's and three additional pieces. And we start by taking the three additional pieces and we're gonna form the mere symmetry of our L's. So we really have 10 L's in one direction, one L in the mirror. Take one in each orientation and form a cube. And now let's put this aside. The next thing we'll do is we'll just take these and form these sort of long extended L's. And you basically can't go wrong. You're just gonna put three in a row and you're gonna do that three times. 
So one's for each direction. Now that you have these, come back to your corner cube. And this time, it's going to be a little bit different than the external corner. So we're going to basically hide a little hole. So you'll see here, I want to put something there. It doesn't work. That's OK. I just flip it around. And the goal is we're going to completely enclose that hole. And we come around, do it again, and then one more time, and we'll do it again. And you'll notice that the parts that we connected were basically all level, and the parts that we didn't connect have a staircase pattern going down. So it's not too bad to figure it out. And there we go. There is our internal corner. And you're going to build one internal corner for each of your corners, so that means you're going to build this eight times. The next part we're going to build is what we'll call our external edge. So it fits in right here in terms of our corner. Now, this will actually show up three times by symmetry, but we just want to see where does one piece fit in. So this is our external edge, and we're going to need 31 pieces to make it. So for the external edge, we're going to have five of our L's and four squares. And we start by taking our L's, and we're just going to keep connecting them together to make one long L. And again, it's pretty hard to go wrong. Just keep forming them and connecting them together. And uh, there we go. So there's a nice valley running down here. Now for the squares, push two squares together, make a rectangle. And again, push two squares together. If they're not going in, turn it around. So the last thing to do is look at your L's that are connected. One side will be flat. One side will be a staircase. On the flat end, we want to put our squares off. So here's our flat end, and we want to connect our squ squares in. And we'll grab the other one. And if needed, just turn it around, connect it in. And there we go. That's our external edge. That's actually a pretty simple one. And remember, that is going to fit in right there into our corner. But because it fits in in three different places, for each corner, you need to make three of these, and a grand total of 24. So you'll make 24 of these in total to make your mentor sponge. So our last piece we're going to build is this part right here. This is going to be called the internal edge. It's a slightly more interesting and a little bit uh, more challenging than the others, but not too bad. And to build it, we're going to need 32 pieces. So we have six L's, two squares, and then six additional pieces. The first thing to do is to take your L's and to chain them together into two runs of length three. So we'll do that. We have one chain of length three, and then we're going to have another chain of length three. All right. After you've done that, figure out where the flat end is. So there's going to be a, a stepped end and a flat end. And you want to put your two flat ends together. So it's, it's we probably want, we want to connect them, but we actually need to turn a corner. So our goal is, how do we make a corner here? So this is where our pieces are going to come in. So take three of your pieces and form three parts of the square. So it's like you took a square, but took a part out. And now pick up your one side of your corner and connect it. This is going to act like our turning. And then take another piece and put it in upstairs. If you were looking straight down, it would look almost like that piece should go directly in. And now you put the corner together. So there we go. So from the other side, you can see that there's almost this space here. So there's our corner. Now the squares are going to come here. You can see that, for example, this square would want to connect in like that, and the other square would connect that way. But we want to form our, our connection. So that's where our two last pieces come in. This is probably the most non-trivial part. Let's call it that way. So I'm going to take my square. I have here the anti-stud corner. I'm going to grab it. And now I'm going to take one part 
and put it in like so and the other part like so so there's my anti stud stud and there's my two pieces and now my other square can connect right in so I've made my nice turn and I put it right on top push it down and success we've built the corner and uh, there we go so there is our interior well not corner interior edge and <clears throat> so you'll build uh, for each of your corners you actually will have this show up three times so there's one two over here and three over there so you'll build a, a total of 24 of them so by the time you get to the end it'll become second nature no worries Now that we've assembled the individual parts, we're going to put them together. So I have here the external corner, an external edge, an external edge, and an internal edge. And we're going to put two together, and then we'll go and put the other two together. And now we press these together, and voila, we have part of our corner. In fact, it's half of our corner. So now we need to build the other half. For the other half of our corner, we have an external edge, two internal edges, and an internal corner. So I'm going to take my external edge here and do a connection. Now I'm going to make these two connect. And so they'll connect here. And finally, I'll push these two together. And keep in mind that you do want to have one part standing out. <clears throat> That's how you connect a corner to a corner. And there's our other half. So now let's take both halves, and one will go right on top of the other. And we just line it up, push it in. Sometimes it might need a little bit of gentle, tender, loving care. Lego, you can do it. I believe in you. After all, don't stress. It's just Lego, right? And there we go. We've built a corner. Beautiful. Beautiful. Life is good. Life is great. Now that you can build one corner, you can build all the corners. The exact same way. No changes required. And now that we have our eight corners, we'll start connecting them. And so you'll connect. Now, be careful because they are very, very connectable. You can do things like this. No, 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 no. Connect so that you get essentially a nice edge. And of course, you're gonna connect two at a time and uh, just keep going. After you finish connecting your edges, all right, now take two of those and put them together and then take the other two and similarly you put them together and then the last thing is you have your two halves and lo and behold as if by magic but no it's by symmetry and planning they'll come together very nicely they'll line up and you push them in and now you have it your level two mend your sponge now you can make all the colors the same. You can do all sorts of fun decorations. You can even do like this one here where there's a checkerboard pattern. Whatever you like. It's your Mender Sponge. Do what makes you happy. I will comment, by the way, that there's actually enough space here in the Mender Sponge. You can put a small ball, 25 millimeters in diameter, and you can then have it roll around. Yeah, you can do all sorts of things. And so, well, great. Now you can build yourself a level two. Now you might be saying, well, how about a level three? Well, I will say all the building principles that we used in building a level two are the same ones used in building a level three. So if you can do this, you can build a level three. It just takes a little bit of patience. If you are serious about building level three, go ahead and contact me. And I'll be happy to share with you some more details. But for now, thanks for joining and have fun.